back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so for this video, I will be going on dates with some of my friends for the entire day. Wait, what? <laughs> I do not approve of this. You're not doing this. This is weird. Well, too bad. I already planned and paid for the date. No, no, no. So, what? since I'm going on these dates with some of my really good friends, this video should be pretty weird and interesting. But if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now, and let's get this video started. Woo! All right, Brent, I want you to tell me who you think is going to be the best and the worst date. So, I changed into a more appropriate attire for my date with Andrew, and I got him this cake to ask him out, so he says yes. Yo. Andrew, hello. So she has a surprise. Congratulations! Where did I just Congrats, you won yourself a date with me. Really? Wait, what is this actually? <laughs> it's a cake. It's like just a little surprise. Like congratulations on this date that you won. What are we doing? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. <laughs> so today I'm going on dates with my friends, like all wait, day. Wait, wait, wait. Just say friends. Yeah. You just friends only. <laughs> Yes, Andrew, I just friend zoned you. And I have a blindfold for you, too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we just arrived at our secret Yo. destination. So I put the blindfold on Andrew like halfway through our drive, so Andrew has no idea where we are. All right, Andrew, it is just about time to take off your blindfold. Right, In three, two, one. <laughs> what? I don't even have a ticket. We got you a ticket. No way. Yeah, so here's your ticket, and Yo. uh, we're just we're gonna have a little friendship Disney date. Let's get it. What? <laughs> Wait, let's go to the castle right now. Go, go. <laughs> All right, it wouldn't be a friendship date without taking couple of pictures in front of the castle, so. Okay, good. I think it looks like I'm out of the friend zone now, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's do a princess. Alright, now Andrew's gonna get on my back. <laughs> we got it. So Andrew forgot to mention, but he's terrified of roller coasters, so. I actually hate him. Does this have a drop or no? Lexi, alright, we're up next. Disneyland for our, you know, friendship date. I think it's only fitting if we get matching t-shirts. So this one says, forever, forever you're Minnie. Mine says, forever you're Mickey. Lexi, this forever is, you're Mickey. This is oh. so cringe. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't. Hey guys. I'm like grossed out by us right now. <laughs> So unfortunately, our Disney date has to end a little bit early because I have to go on another date with another one of our friends. What? <laughs> Yo, I, I kind of felt special for a bit. I thought it was just me. Oh, well, here's a lollipop. Oh, well, thank you, Lexi. <laughs> but you could go on to your next date now. <gasps> All right, you guys. So I changed into a dress because this final date is going to be a dinner date and it is going to be with Ben. So I thought it would be funny to ask him out on this date using a poster, so... All right, so this sign looks pretty terrible, but fingers crossed he still says yes to the dinner date. <laughs> What's going on here? Hi, Ben. Hello. What are you holding? A sign. Okay. Do you know what's on the menu tonight? Be plus you. <laughs> what's this for? I'm asking you on a date. <laughs> really? I thought you'd never ask. I'm actually really down. Oh, I knew mean, you'd be excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Dates with my friends, and you get the final date. You get the, the dinner date if, if you want it. <laughs> okay, I'm down. You're down? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so Ben and I just arrived at dinner. Ben, is this bringing back any memories? It's literally bringing back the weirdest memories. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> what? It's like strange memories. I agree. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's all you think I, I was just gonna say something like that. Oh, well, I did it first. What were you gonna say? That fire is not as hot as you are. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Woo! Oh, wow. oh wow. Dinner and a show. This is the wow. best date I've ever been on, and I planned the whole thing. It's better than all the other dates that we ever had. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing? We're on a date. We're not sharing this drink. <laughs> Ew, are you backwashing in there? I just spit all the drink back in there. <gasps> no, you, you didn't. All right, so Ben is going to try to catch this piece of chicken in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How's your food? Amazing. I forgot you were even here. No. 
<laughs> I dropped it. So we good? We good. Alright, right, Ben, that was it for our dinner. I'm, I'm very full. What about you? I'm pretty full, but um, I was gonna say, could you like leave here pretty soon? I'm gonna stay. <laughs> I have another girl coming to this. No. I, I need you to head out, alright? Because otherwise it's gonna look bad. Well, I've been on two other dates today already. Well, I'm going on three today. So I just beat you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, so that was it for our little friendship date. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun, and I think maybe if you're down, we could do it again sometime. No. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. It was fun, but no. There are 10 guys behind this curtain, and I'm gonna be going on a series of blind dates with all of them. For the first round, I'm gonna be judging the boys based off of their outfits, but before we get to that, Jeremy, if you're behind this curtain, just leave now. What the f all right, now let's get started. All right, so we're starting off with shoes. Guy number one, your shoes, I, I actually like these. They're kind of cool. Guy number two, feels very basic. I feel like a lot of guys wear Air Forces. That's not, it's not a bad thing, it's just playing it safe. And they're a little dirty. Oh man, what are those? Guy number three, I don't know how I feel about these. They're like kind of, um, they're, <sighs> I don't even know how to, what to say. Guy number four is wiggling his toes for me. So these are just some socks with some sandals. I'm not into that. Guy number five. Uh, I don't like those at all. Okay, guy number six. I hate this. Like this is the worst thing you could have worn here today. The socks with the sandals, but like not just socks with sandals. It's like socks with the sandals that like dig into like the big toe. Okay, guy number seven shoes are very. Uh, I don't like these. They're just running shoes. They give me kind of like dad vibes. Like my dad wears running shoes with everything. Okay, these last two guys are pretty much wearing the same shoe. One looks a little more yellow. One looks a little more white. Same thing. After looking at the rest of their shoes, it was clear to me who I wanted to send home. Okay, I've come to a conclusion. Based off of their shoes alone, I'm going to be eliminating guy number three. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna go hit the, the van store real quick. No, 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 no. Literally, like, it was just, like, the shoes I didn't like, but I actually like the rest of the outfit. Okay, so now I can see their full outfits, so let's see if these guys have good style. By the way, the guys have a voice changer, so I have no idea who any of these guys are. Okay, guy number one, I actually like this outfit. It's very, nothing too crazy, but also, like, it's it's not bad. Describe your style using one word. Fresh. Fresh, okay. Oh, I actually really like this outfit. I'm a big fan of camo. I like the jeans. Describe your style to me using one word. Simple. Simple. Yeah, I agree. Seeing your full outfit, I like it. It actually goes with the socks and the sandals. I hate to say it. And I like the shoulder bag. I say my whole style is radical. Radical, okay, I like that word. I wouldn't agree with you, but I like the word. Guy number five, I like the upper half of this outfit. I don't love the pants and the shoes. I feel like if you did different pants and shoes, it would work. What do you have to say? Wow. This outfit is definitely screaming at me. This outfit, it's interesting. Your your sweatshirt's a little dirty. Uh, there's like paint on it or something. I just hate the jeans with the socks and the sandals. Describe your style. Chill. He did not care when he picked this outfit. All right, guy number seven, please step forward. God, actually just step back. We're gonna move, move on. Guy number eight. I mean, I think we, we told you to wear your best outfit today. I don't know if, I just, I don't see a shirt. One word to describe your style. Scorpion, you want to touch it? No, no, please, I'm good. Okay, guy number nine. I like this outfit. It's very, oh wow. I didn't see the sparkly belt. I actually like this outfit. I like everything about this. How would you describe your style? Belt. Belt? Belt. I don't like these guys. Okay, I'm ready to eliminate another person, and that person, based off of their outfit and their style, is going to be guy number seven. Oh my god, Dom. You know, the one day I wear these pants and these pants. <laughs> like, what are the odds of that? Dom, I, I really hate this. What's on your forearm? Uh, this is my watch. Why is it up there? Uh, it fits. I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to like close it up. It's too it's too big. It's too big right here. Thanks for coming. Just leave. I don't I can't look at you anymore. Three people have been eliminated. We are down to seven guys, so let's move on to round two. So for the next round, the boys are on the other side of this curtain. Basically, I'm gonna be asking them a series of questions. Based off of their answers, I'm gonna decide if they're a red flag or a green flag. So let's see if any of these boys are toxic. Are you still friends with your ex? Aren't you still friends with your ex? Hmm. Okay, 
that is a red flag. What do you mean that's a red flag? You're a red flag. I think you're the red flag. You're the one bringing that up, so the, you're the You're the one bringing flag. it up. You asked, not me. Guy number one is already arguing with me. I think we can work through this argument. I don't want to. You're a walking red flag. Maybe you're the walking red flag. Let's see. Guy number two, would you want to share your location with me? Definitely not. Okay, what about your phone password? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that either. It's kind of a red flag, but like also I wouldn't want someone like watching my every move. So it's kind of a green flag because I wouldn't want that. Do you have a girl best friend? No ma'am, I do not. Okay, that's a green flag. Okay, guy number five. Would you want to sign a prenup? No. That's a green flag. If I asked you to unfollow someone on Instagram, would you do it? Yeah. Hey, that's a green flag. Guy number eight. What is your body count? And you have to tell the truth. This is about compatibility here. 36. Not that that like really matters, but it's that's kind of a red flag. They love the scorpion. Ew. Guy number nine. Would you be okay with me having a guy best friend? I wouldn't care. What if I didn't want you to have a girl best friend? It'd be your best friend. Huh. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> After this round, I've decided I'm going to be eliminating guy number one. Oh, guy number one, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing fine. We had a little argument back there, what happened? Yeah, right off the bat, we're already arguing, so I feel like it just isn't gonna work out. It was nice to meet you. Oh my Yeah, I'll catch you later, all right? Why'd you bring the sugar guy here? Didn't find anyone else. Entire cake for lunch. Yeah, well. The next guy I will be eliminating is guy number eight. Hey, I think, you know. No, you just asked me the wrong questions. Okay, what's yeah. a question you would want me to ask you? I can like backflip. Okay, go ahead and backflip for me then. If I pull off a backflip, can I stay in the competition? Okay, well, if you can do a backflip, I will consider. Oh, God. Oh! That was good. I, I wouldn't say that was a backflip, so you, you're still out of the competition. I'm sorry. For round three, I'm here with my ex-boyfriend. Whoa! <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna be giving the boys scenarios and Ben is going to be deciding if their answers are good or bad. I'm here to tell the honest truth because I know from experience. All right, first scenario, guy number two. Say you go to Starbucks and they get my order wrong. What do you do? I'll make sure to send it back. I'll tell them to give me the right order. Uh, I think you're screwed either way, honestly, buddy. If he took my order back, I'd be very grateful. Guy number four, what would you do if I asked you to get a tattoo of my name. I think I'd have to think long and hard about it. You seem a little but, iffy, uh, bro. If she's asking, I would just go ahead and do it. You don't want to you don't want to make her mad. Man. He's acting like I'm crazy. Ah! It looks so good. No. Oh my god. And I feel like you don't love it. Guy number 5. You ask to go hang out with the boys and I say, "It's fine." Does it mean A it's actually fine? B you can go, but I'll probably be mad about it. C you probably shouldn't go, or a D, start counting your blessings. I choose A. You seem pretty chill, and I mean, I like my guy time. Oh, bro. Ben, I would be fine with it. Ooh, I, I, <laughs> no, you're done. She said it's fine. It is everything but fine. Hey, you so, know what? Ben does know me pretty well, and he's not wrong here. Guy number six. If I were to turn into a worm, would you still like me? What type of worm are we talking here? Earthworm, no. okay, gummy no, bear? You're done. You already answered the question. Worm. I gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> I got me one. I'll eat that up. Keep my favorite snack. I think guy number six is trying to redeem himself and he's just digging the hole. Yeah, deeper. it's just going, it's just going way deeper. Yes. You ask me where I want to eat and I say, I don't know, you choose. What are you choosing? I'm gonna come up with 10 options. I'm gonna present them to you. Whichever one sounds the best, I'll choose that. That sounds like it'd be a right answer, but honestly, you should just know already what she wants to eat. So Ben is gonna be eliminating two people based off of their answers. Ben, do you know who you wanna eliminate? Yes. But do you trust me? No, I don't. I feel like you might sabotage oh. me. I'm gonna go with I number five. That man said, if it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine, right? I think it's fine means the opposite, right? These guys are so mean when you eliminate them. And the next guy that I will be eliminating is guy number six yeah. said he wouldn't love you even if you were a worm. Yeah, that was weird. Anything he's probably built like a worm. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, Lexi? <laughs> like, would you still love me if I was a worm? No, Andrew, oh, no, oh, don't, we don't oh, need to say, oh. oh. Andrew, you don't even have to be a worm. I, won't, I wouldn't love you. You wouldn't love her if she was a worm, but you would respect you her. But she is a worm, though. You're a little earthworm. 
<laughs> Great, thank you, Ben, for helping me out with this round. So for this next round, I'm gonna be in this control room because I sent my dad in to talk to these boys and eliminate someone. So basically, this round is completely out of my hands, which is scary because my dad is not the best at dealing with people who potentially wanna date me, and he tends to embarrass me. So this was probably one of the worst ideas I've ever had, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm also gonna be wearing this blindfold so that I'm not seeing the boys, but I am still hearing them. My name's uh, John, I'm Lexi's dad. I'm Danny. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. What makes you wanna date my daughter? I feel like I'm at this time in my life where I wanna have fun, you know? I don't know, be the right person to just have fun with. Someone that's not afraid to get tickled, someone that's not afraid to tickle me. This is off to a really bad start. If you get to take Lexi on a date, would you pay for it or would you split it, the bill with her or how would you work that? I would pay for it, especially since like I'm the one that would be asking her out. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Just wanted to let you know a couple things about Lexi that you may not be aware of. One, she snores quite loudly. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I think just as long as it doesn't go all night. It's pretty much all night. Oh. Okay. I don't snore, okay? Let's just get that out of the way right now. What do you do for a living? I actually own a multi-million dollar company. We sell crazy gadgets for crazy okay. things. And now nah, I'm just playing around. So you don't have a job? No, sir, no. I don't. Okay. You're walking up to the car and um, she's getting ready to get in. Do you get the door for her or do you let her get her own door? I get out of the car, I go to the house, you know, I ring on the doorbell. I'll keep the door locked until I'm there. I'll unlock it for her and then open it. Wow, he said he would walk up to my door. I think it's safe to say number nine is a gentleman. Every once in a while she'll wake up in the middle of the night and she just screams. Like nightmares? Yeah, kind of like a nightmare type thing. Huh, I think I can put up with that. Oh my God, I literally don't scream in my sleep. After the date, are you gonna go in for the kiss or what are your plans? I don't think I'd be comfortable doing that on the first date. No? No. Okay. He said he doesn't think it would be appropriate to kiss on a first date and I love that because I think the exact same way. I mean, I get these gigs, you know, once gave this homeless dude a tattoo and he paid me 40 bucks for it. Tattoos? Yeah. Okay. I get her coffee in the morning and I bring it to her. Let's just say you win this competition. Uh, would you be able to go get her coffee every day? Is that something that you're willing to do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm actually glad that my dad asked this question because I do need to know this. Like if a guy's not gonna get me Starbucks every morning, then he's not my guy. So she has a couple of brothers, I'm sure you're aware of that. Would you mind hanging out with Brent? You know, Brent's a little weird. That might be where I have to draw the line if oh, he's a little line. weird, yeah. Oh, that's good, I guess. I don't blame him for not wanting to hang out with Brent. Hell, I don't even want to hang out with Brent. What if I just like make her my own coffee? Oh, you mean like get the instant stuff? Yeah, and... so it's not as expensive. Oh, you know what? That won't work. It has to be Starbucks. Oh, no, no. I can't do at-home coffee. Well, Danny, uh, thanks for uh, letting me talk to you for a minute here. Yeah, of course. I appreciate it. I honestly hope that she doesn't choose you. Oh, yeah, good luck. Uh, good luck. Yeah, I think that went pretty well in my opinion. Can't wait to be a part of the family. Not really too sure how well it went. He said I might have to hang out with Brent, and I do not want to do that. Wait, do you think she actually like Screams at night. Okay, we're down to three boys right now. Sean, Yahir, and Danny. Dad, please eliminate Danny. I think it's pretty obvious who we're gonna send home today. Yeah? Sorry, bud. Wait, me? Maybe next. No, uh, Danny, it's you. What? Yeah, oh was... my god. My handshake was firm. Yeah, it, it was. was... Firm handshake. We'll see you later. Thank goodness my dad eliminated Danny. Definitely made the right decision there. Now we are down to the final two. Let's move on to the last round. For round five, I wanted to have a face-to-face -face dinner date with each of the boys. But what they don't know is I will be having a robber come in to crash the date, and we're gonna see if either of them would protect me. Hey, Sean, well, thank you for showing up, and now we're just gonna have dinner here. Hey, this is crazy. This is like the first time I'm seeing your face. Yeah, finally. I wanna know more about you, so tell me more about yourself. I do Muay Thai, it's like kickboxing. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's, um, that's very cool. I'm currently a manager at Home Depot. Wow, that's very impressive. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very good with my hands. That's perfect, because I always need like a lot of things fixed. What do you like to do? I like to film videos. It sounds weird, but I actually like to work. Well, maybe by the end of this, you could be my handyman and my just man. I would love nothing more than that. Yeah, it's like one of my favorites. This is a robbery! Ah! Give me ah! your money! Oh this is a robbery! Ah! Give me your money! Whoa, 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 whoa. Put it down, put it down. Hold on. We don't want any. <laughs> this is a setup. And she would be dead. I would be literally like in my grave by now. That's why you gotta do Muay Thai. You'll protect yourself. Oh my god. We did this to see how you would react you here, and you protected me. You did a really good job. <laughs> so he's not actually trying to kill us? I don't, I don't think so, but he's doing kind of weird things right now. You really didn't do anything? Yeah. My bad. All right, so you two have been very solid this entire time. Through every round, you guys are my top picks. But when it came to this last round, I think it's very clear to see that we have a winner. And that winner is... Yahir. Woo! <laughs> oh! 
Oh right. my god, okay. Okay. <laughs> we, what? We're where, leaving? Where, where are we, we going? <laughs> where are we going first? <laughs> Wait, I, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I guess she won't be going to Muay Thai. For the next 24 hours, I am going to be attempting to turn this penny into $1,000. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! Okay, so I have this penny, and I kind of have an idea as to how I'm going to make some money from it. Basically, I'm going to try to sell this penny by labeling it as my lucky penny. So, I decided to invite over the most gullible person I know. Hi! Hey, Lexi. Hi, hon. Hi, you uh, kind of caught me at a bad time. I'm looking for my lucky penny. You have a lucky penny? I do, but I'm kind of freaking out because I can't find it. I've had it for five years and it like gives me the best luck. And now I can't seem to find it. Do you want help? Yeah, if you want to look, if you see like a penny anywhere, it's probably it. Man, is that why you're doing so well on YouTube? Like, I feel like I never knew you had a lucky penny. Yeah, one time I, I brought it gambling and I really won. $2,000. What the heck? I know. Where'd you find it? Um, I found it in the dirt. Was it like head, head side up? Yeah. Cause I heard I like- I found it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez, I don't know what I would do without it. Would you like ever consider like selling it to someone? Would you want it? I mean, I mean, I have pretty bad luck. You think so? Yeah. Are you kidding? I mean, I don't know. This penny kind of means a lot to me. Last week I got like two spinning tickets in a row. I don't Seriously? know anyone that happens to. No, yeah. That is pretty bad luck. I like, it would probably be good luck for you to like Pass it on, too. I agree. I mean, it, it does mean a lot to me. I would have to maybe bargain with you. Like, I only have $20. Deal. Well, really? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Oh my god, thank you. Trust me, Lexi, you're not going to regret this. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, of course. Do you still want to get lunch? Yeah, let's do it. Do you think you can pay for me, though? I just gave you my money. I can't afford to spend any, though. Hi, Lexi. Gee. Okay. I'll meet you outside. Like I said, the most gullible person I know. I heard that. Okay, so I'm up $20, 980 to go, and desperate times call for desperate measures. So I think I'm gonna go to Brent and see if he needs help with anything. Hi, Brent. Hello. Okay, I have an offer for you. Okay, what? I need some money, and I wanna know if there's anything around the house, anything at all, that I can do in return for some money. Why do you need money? Because I'm turning one cent into $1,000 in 24 hours, and I have $20 so far. I have a lot okay. to go. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you can either clean our toilets or massage my feet. I'm not doing either of those. Yeah, too bad. That's, no, that's be, serious. be serious. Be well, serious. I'm not gonna give you the Okay, well, then you don't get any money. I'm saying if you need something done, like realistically, yeah, I do. I'm not gonna do My the feet toilet. are sore, and the toilets have been used by a lot of people. I'm so. not doing yes, that. Yes, you are. Yeah. Hey, $50 is $50. Hey, uh, don't forget to get that poop stain on the rim. So it just so happens to be raining today, and I have an idea. Umbrellas for $10. So apparently Trader Joe's was threatened by my up and coming lucrative umbrella business. And the employee told me that I couldn't sell umbrellas outside of their store. So I decided to move locations. Umbrellas for $10. And I still didn't sell any umbrellas. All right, so I just wasted a lot of time trying to sell umbrellas and I didn't sell any. So I came up with a new plan and we're gonna go to bed. Holy oh shit. my god, this scared me! Oh, I'm a freaking <laughs> I literally scared myself. <laughs> Alright, Ben, so I have a little challenge for you, if you will. I love challenges. Okay, do you have cash? I do! <laughs> Perfect! I better not be losing this money. No, well, you might. Hold up! Oh, 60 bucks. Okay, so Ben, since you have all 10s, I'm going to tell you a few jokes, and for each time you laugh, you have to give me $10. Huh? If you laugh at all. You could okay. not laugh at any of these jokes. I might as well put the money away now, because you're not getting any of it. Oh my god! I'm not laughing at anything. <laughs> Okay, so Ben, if there were a world record for how many times a person can twist their ankle, I think you might have broken it. <laughs> that's, that's like messed up. So you're not laughing? No, I'm about to cry. Okay. What is a cat's favorite dessert? A bowl of mice cream. <laughs> that was close. Where do most horses live? Where? <laughs> In the neighborhoods. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That was like a that was like a ten percent laugh. Okay, but it's still ten dollars. Thank you. That you really get all right. All right, this is the last joke I have up my sleeve. Okay. Yeah, this is the last one. You just checked in your yeah. sleeve. Did that make you laugh? Wait, that literally made it laugh. Whatever, take it, take it, take okay. it. Okay. What fruit do twins love the most? What? Pears. Seriously? <laughs> All right, well I did get $20 out of Ben. That's 20 more dollars than I came here with, so I'm happy. Okay, wait, if you're trying to make money, mm -hmm. I have a challenge for you. Do it. 
to you? Follow me. There's a way you could also lose your money. You willing to take the risk? I don't know. What is it? So Lexi's really bad at basketball. Like really bad. That is not true. If you make a shot from like right around the three point area in the basketball hoop, I will double whatever you have. So how much do you have? Well, I have 90 now that you gave me this 20. I'll give you another 90. <gasps> but if you miss it, you give me back the 20 for the bad jokes. Wait, what? I'm gonna take those odds. It might set you back, I'm not gonna lie. Hold my money then. All right, here we go. No! No! <laughs> no. no, no, okay. Wait, I, I take it back, I take it back. I'll send it to you on my phone because I don't have cash. Okay, that works too. All right, I, I really shouldn't have said that, but I just sent it. Woo! $180 the day is coming to a close, but we still have a few more things to do and we still have a little bit of daylight tomorrow. You just robbed me. I did. So a few days ago, I put in an application to become a Postmates worker so that today I would have another opportunity to make some money. So with that being said, I'm picking up an order from Pickup Sticks for Kelsey. So congratulations, Kelsey. You're my first customer. Hi, um, we had an order for Kelsey. Kelsey, I have your order. Please tip me good. All right, I think I did a pretty good job. Let's hope we get a big tip. Okay, so that delivery made me a little over $10, which is good, but it was pretty time consuming. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be picking up any more Postmates orders tonight. <laughs> All right, so it is now the end of the day and I am researching some ways to come up with some more money by tomorrow. My 24 hours is officially up at 11.25 a.m. So fingers crossed we come up with some brilliant idea by then. Okay, so the brilliant idea that I came up with was to start a kissing booth. This is my last ditch effort to make some money, so let's do this. Should I charge $5 or should I charge more than that? Because I need a lot more money. <laughs> okay, so it took me so long to build this kissing booth that I literally have 14 minutes left of this 24 hour challenge. But the kissing booth is officially open. Oh my God. Go. How's it going? <laughs> How did you guys even get the memo? Oh my God. <laughs> Jeremy's so excited, he's like breaking stuff. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, I, you said you were open. Okay, Jeremy, you owe me $50 for breaking that. And then that means I get uh, like 10 kisses. No, $50 just for breaking this. What? Come on, how much are we talking about? Jeremy, I'm not going to make out with you. Come on. No, it's $5 for a kiss on the cheek. Well, how about 20 bucks? No. That's a good deal. No, it's hey, not. 40 bucks? No. Dang it! Jeremy, people are coming and now you're holding up my line. I'm trying to make you money and it's, I'm- It's a kiss on the cheek for $5. If you okay. want it, if you don't get out of the line, you're holding up my line. Five bucks, alright? Okay. Do it! Let's go! No. Hey, what about for 10 more bucks? That's two more. Okay, fine. <laughs> Ow! Um... I don't take credit cards. Wow. Yeah, $5. Wait, I don't, I don't have- Oh, wait. Oh, there you okay, go. $5. Oh my god. Give me one sec. Drew, how much time do I have? Kiss on the cheek, you don't need to put chapstick on. For five dollars? <laughs> Fine, I'll take one of you. Okay, next. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremy. How's it going? Did, you get, did he cut you? Oh, yeah. He oh, no, no, I didn't. If you that. have more money, I'll kiss on the cheek. I was just going to give you my phone and you can sell that. That's like a thousand dollars. I'll give you my phone. Oh, I'll give you my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! You, you want to kiss on the cheek? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, okay. seven, five, four, three, <laughs> Two, one, time's out. Oh my God. Okay. All right, you guys, my 24 hours is officially up and I made $55 from this kissing booth, which brings me to a total of $245. I tried my best, 24 hours is not long enough to make $1,000, but hey. Jeremy, go away. What, I gave you money. For this week's video, I have 10 guys here. But only one of them is Andrew. This is Andrew. We've been best friends for four years now, so today I'm putting my relationship with him to the test by seeing if I'm able to pick him out of a group of 10 guys. And at the end of the video, the final two boys will kiss Lexi in order for her to determine which is Andrew. You know what, if you're Andrew, just raise your hand. Oh, oh okay. Let's just get started. All right, so Andrew is very flirtatious. So for the first round, all of you guys will say your best pickup line to Lexi. If you have a bad pickup line, you're probably not mm. Andrew. And two guys will be getting out this round, so good luck. All right, boy number one. Have you already ordered because you're hot and I'm ready? Um, I uh, I don't know if I liked that one. But come on, like I have pizza here too. Oh, you have pizza? Oh, I can actually yeah. smell the pizza. Oh. Okay, okay, that was okay. Uh, Lexi, you're so sexy that my zipper's falling for you. No. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Next. And by the way, guys, this is how I'm hearing the boys in my earpiece. I lost a quarter and I lost a nickel, but I think I just found a dime. That one wasn't too bad, but it also wasn't great, but okay. Lexi, is there a mirror in your pants? Because I can see myself in them. No! 
Oh, it's just gross. What the hell? <laughs> that one could have been Andrew. That one was pretty gross. Point number five. Lexi, you remind me of the 20 letters in the alphabet. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Oh, how could I forget? You are a QT. <laughs> That's still only 25. You're, you're missing one. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine. I'm sorry. I, I could give you the D later. No. Huh? Are you Russian? No, I'm not Russian. Because I'm Russian to get you home in bed with me. All right, video's over. Maybe Come on. this was a bad idea. If I could rearrange the alphabets, I would keep you and I separated. What? Hey, I don't think number seven likes me. I don't. Why is he here? Is that Ben? <laughs> Can you grab my arm? Just so I can show all these other boys what it feels like to be touched by an angel. Okay. Oh. That one was very nice. That was very sweet. Uh, I'm writing, a, I'm, oh my God. I'm writing a term paper on the finer things in life and I was wondering if I can interview you. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Will you let him interview you? I don't think so. Okay, you can get out, you can get out of here. All right, last contestant. I normally don't ask girls stuff like this until they tell me they're pregnant, but what's your name? Oh uh, my God. All right, that's it. Uh, you're, get out of here, you're out of here. I just eliminated him. Thank God that was number 10. Let's go to the elimination room. All right, so Lexi, after all of those pickup lines, which ones do you think are not Andrew? Okay, I have to eliminate two people right now, so I'm going to go with number two and number six. I don't think you guys are Andrew. All right, so number two is not Andrew. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank goodness this wasn't Andrew, but let's see if number six is. All right, so number six is not Andrew. Thank goodness I'm on the right track, so let's move on to the next challenge. All right, so for this next round, Lexi will be smelling every one of the guys, and Lexi, Andrew has a pretty distinct smell. It's gonna be kind of hard to pick him out out of all these guys. Okay, I'm ready, let's do it. All right, here we go. Give a nice big sniff. Okay, um, interesting. All right, Lexi, next contestant. Okay. I feel like some of these guys are trying to throw me off. You smell very, um, very strongly of cologne. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God. You smell like throw up. Dude, I haven't showered in like three days. Oh my God, number eight smells even worse. These guys smell really bad. You do know that I'm trying to find Andrew, not Ben, right? Okay. All right, contestant number nine. Put my head into someone's armpit. What'd These guys smell so bad. Oh, you made him cry. Oh. You made number nine cry. I'm sorry, Andrew. Oh my God, you smell like water. Like you smell like straight water. Like if water had a smell. Literally like the jugs of water. I've come to a conclusion, I think. All right, based off of just their scent, who would you like to eliminate? I think that number four and number eight are not Andrew. All right, so number four is not Andrew. Woo! Number eight is also not Andrew. Okay, you guys, I am doing so good and you need to shower. It's not that bad. No, like no, it's, it's bad. bad, you should go. All right, so the boys were asked to bring and model an outfit that they think that you would wear. I feel like Andrew knows my style pretty well, so let's see these outfits. Okay, outfit number one. This is a bear costume. It has a tail. I would never wear this, but I could see Andrew trying to like make a joke out of this, possibly. But let's see the next outfit. <laughs> huh? What is this person wearing? Okay, but I do have to say, I do wear black a lot. I wear dresses a lot. He paired it with a little black cardigan. I don't hate this. It looks like a grandma. He was on the right track. This actually looks like something I would wear. Um, the crop top, the cargoes, the green, everything about it is something I would wear. This outfit, um, you know what? The leather pants, the white crop top, I could see myself wearing this. Hopefully I would look better in it. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, contestant number nine. I, I don't think contestant number nine got the memo. Um, this isn't something I would wear. I don't know why he's wearing this. Huh. <laughs> oh my what are you talking about, Lexi? <laughs> I love you. I want to be with you. I want to stay with you. I want to have beautiful family with you, please. I don't think we need an elimination round. We all know that's not Andrew. For the fourth round, the boys were asked to bring me a meal that they think I would enjoy. I'm pretty picky and Andrew knows that, so let's see what these boys brought me. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is okay. This is really, this is really nice. Okay, this is actually crazy. This thing comes with so many different pieces of sushi. I don't even like know where to start. This thing comes with so many so different pieces of sushi. I do love sushi, so, oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's feeding me, okay, okay. Wow, that's really good. I don't want any more. Or oh, is this for you? No, I'm not. 
<laughs> All right, next meal. Okay, contestant number three. What do you have for me? Wow. Oh, this is literally just a plate of french fries. I do like french fries, but this isn't like really a meal and they're cold. Um, but yeah. I'm not eating these. Okay, contestant number five. What did you bring me? Oh my god. Okay, I literally love grilled cheeses, so. Oh. And a Baja Blast <laughs> freeze. This is like my favorite meal. Like if I could pick something, it would be these two things. Good job, contestant number five. Okay, contestant number seven. Ooh. What? Contestant number seven, I don't eat meat and you brought me a steak. Okay, either they don't like me or they don't know me at all. But I can't eat this. Well, so. if you're not gonna eat it, I'll eat it. See ya. Um, yeah, you, okay, thanks for nothing. You can leave. Okay, contestant number 10. Oh, what is this? This is, you know, I don't know what this is. All I know is that this is disgusting. Is this supposed to be a sandwich? Why was it in your pocket? Okay, you can just leave now, actually. I don't, yeah, you can go. All right, Lexi, it's time to eliminate two more guys. Okay, after that food round, I definitely have come to a conclusion. I'm going to be going with number seven and number 10. Number seven has been trying to sabotage me this entire time, so I think it's time for him to go. All right, let's say goodbye to not Andrew. You! <laughs> it's Ben. Come on. Ben was trying to sabotage me this entire time. I knew it. Obviously. You know what? I'm glad to be eliminated. Bye. And don't even get me started about number 10. That sandwich was disgusting. Shame on you, number 10. Because number 10 is also not Andrew. Okay. Okay, we are down to the final three. Andrew is one of three people getting close. So Andrew's best subject is definitely not math. So today, we have a pop quiz. Oh. All right, so you guys have 30 seconds to solve this problem. Whoever gets it right gets a surprise. Go. All right, you guys, it's 30 seconds is up. Let's see your answers. Okay, contestant number one got the answer $14.73. Huh. This had nothing to do with money. I am. Um, I don't even know. That could definitely be Andrew. Okay, Ooh. contestant number three. The right answer. He showed his work and everything, and he circled his answer. Mm -hmm. Correct. And contestant number five, his answer is false. This, um, it wasn't a true or false. It was it was it was an equation. Yeah. Number it, nine. That wasn't like a contestant number three. You were the only person that got this right, which tells me that you're not Andrew. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Dang it, bro. Dom, oh. you're too smart to be Andrew today. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I should have got it wrong on purpose. See ya. Later, guys. Bye. Get out. All right, so Andrew's kissed Lexi on the cheek before. So for this last round, Lexi will get a kiss on the cheek from both contestants. All right, number five, go ahead and kiss her on the cheek. And uh, keep it on the cheek. Okay, that's Andrew. Like I already know. Okay, well number one. No, you have like to I, kiss I don't need to. I don't need number one to number kiss one. me. Like I know that was Andrew. Number one. Kiss I know. I see. I got it. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You took your blindfold out before we ended the game. Yeah. I know. I had my answer and I got it right. How do you know so well? That wasn't fair to my friend Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy, I don't need to kiss you. Like I already. Let did. him kiss you. <laughs> attempting to face 100 teenage fears in 24 hours. Starting with, one of the most common teenage fears is getting in trouble with the cops. I haven't done anything wrong. How are we supposed to face this fear? You're about to find out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What the hell? Ben, if these cops catch you, you owe me $1,000. Oh, no, no, they're getting out. They're literally getting out. You better get okay. going. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 But what he doesn't know is I'm actually the one who called the cops, and I'm leading him straight into a dead end, so this is going to be a long chase. They're going way faster than I thought. Hold oh, no. on. Wait, it's a dead end. You uh -huh. took me down a dead end? I led you to a dead oh, end. Get Stop the car and get There's out the car. Go. No. No. I'm not getting caught. Hurry. <laughs> All right, where'd you go? <laughs> he went that way. Good luck, Ben. So, Dom, you know how your teenage fear was bugs? Oh, my God. No. Is that why I have this on my head? Yeah. <laughs> well, Dom, I'm going to help you overcome this teenage fear by pouring a bunch of bugs onto your head. No, I'm good. I don't need to overcome it. We're no, okay. you do. You have to. <laughs> oh. All right, Dom. First up, we have some crickets. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for this. Okay, you know what? You're right. Just All right, here we go. Oh, oh, my my god. God. oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh my god! I feel them. They're everywhere. This is horrible. Oh my god, you have more? Oh, it smells so bad. And oh, they're all over my face! Um, I think you haven't faced your fear yet. What? <laughs> I'm terrified. What are you talking about? These are giant super worms. That does not sound good. Can't we have like tiny, tiny worms? No, that wouldn't be any fun. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know if this is facing my fear or just making it worse. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, 
Okay, now we're good. You're coming for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I swear one just went in my mouth. I'm oh. really sorry, Dom. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> okay, Dom. Did you face your fear? I think they're still on me. Give me a hug. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, there's still one right there. Ah! Ah! I can't believe she sent me down a freaking dead end. Well, there's cops chasing me. Oh, guys, I gotta run. I don't know where to hide. What if I just head like right here in these bushes? I mean, there's a trail right there. They could walk down. They're just gonna see me. Yo, that's not a good idea. One of my teenage fears was actually starting my YouTube channel. I was afraid that I wouldn't get any subscribers. But here I am at almost 12 million subscribers. And my next fear is that I won't hit 15 million before the end of the month. So please subscribe so that I don't have to face this fear. The teenage fear of making a move on your crush. I think I found the best hiding spot. Oh my god, oh my god. I think I lost him. Let's go. Oh, gotcha. Don't. I think you owe Lexi some money. No! The fear of lying about where you're going and then getting caught. Bye, Mom. I'm going to Catherine. We're, We're going, going to, to Vegas. Vegas. Andrew also faced his fear of airplanes. And so did I. Um, probably needles. Good to know. Okay, Antonio, are you ready? For what? Just sit back, okay? It's gonna be fine. I'm like about to have a, like a attack. Oh, oh, there's the needle. <laughs> Antonio, you're getting a tattoo right now. Yeah, no sh Lexi. What am I getting, dude? <laughs> Antonio's also facing the fear of the unknown because he doesn't know what tattoo he's getting. Let's hope he likes it. <laughs> you said you were scared of needles, right? Yeah, but like, this is like terrifying. <laughs> are you dude. still scared of needles? Yeah, because I can't see when it's gonna go in my skin. Are you more scared of the needle or are you scared because you don't know what tattoo you're getting? I gave you a design. You did? Yes, I gave you a design. So see? I'm doing whatever design you gave me. Oh my, dude, I'm gonna be so mad. No, 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 it's good, it's good. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Do you love it? Dude, it's not real. It is real. That, that's is not it real. real? It's real, brother. Dude. You don't like it? Don't quit on me, Antonio. Don't walk out. You walk out this door. You guys, please subscribe because he hates me now. <laughs> Liv is about to face the fear of heights by jumping off a 1,550 foot building. To give you guys an idea of how tall this building is, it is literally four times the size of the Statue of Liberty. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> this means if I die, they can't do anything about it. That's what I'm signing off for. This is gonna be fun. You're facing your fear. Fun. Being on the edge of death is like so fun. I'm absolutely terrified and Andrew's just eating a pizza. How is this fair? I'm really, really excited for you. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun right now. That's great. I'm gonna have the best time. I'm so excited. This is gonna be fun. Hey, if you fall, I will catch you. No, you won't. I won't. <laughs> I feel like when she's up there, it's gonna be cool. Like, she's not gonna be that scared. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Three, two, one, go. Good ah! thing it's not us, right? Thank God. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Ah! I'm gonna die! I hate you! <laughs> How did you make me do that? Liv, did you overcome your fear? I did. So Jeremy had a fear of talking to girls. Uh, 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 uh. And he still does. So today I'm setting him up on a blind date with three girls. Are you one of them? Oh, you know how to talk now? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's bring out the first girl. Like, I know she likes me. She's just playing hard to get. See the way she looks at me sometimes? I just know something is there. Like, you now get what I'm saying here? Who are we talking about? You know what? I think I have a photo of her. Let me set this down really quick. Oh, perfect. Dude, I carry this around with me everywhere. Yeah, so what do you think? Are you okay? Is it hot in here or is it just you? No, it's not. No, I'm like pretty hot right now. It might be you. It's definitely just you. How's it going? Good. So I'm very glad that we're able to sit here because now we can finally talk about how many kids we want. What's so funny? Um, I just think you're moving a little too fast. Well, something tells me you're interested if you're you know, you sitting across from me. This nice, romantic, lovely dinner. See, I told you he would take it too far. Well, we couldn't get any other girl. I hey, thanks for having dinner with me. I really had no choice. Cheers to us, Lexi. No, no, we're not gonna do that. Pick up that drink and click it, come on. No, um, we're not cheers to okay. us. Okay. There is no us. Hey, you gonna finish that? Actually. Mmm, this looks so good. What, I dropped my fork. So good. 
You know, I don't think that Jeremy has a fear of talking to girls. I think that girls have a fear of Jeremy. Dude, just pull that seat up right there and let we'll us finish what we're talking about. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Teenage fear of getting caught sneaking out of the house. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, where are you guys going? <gasps> I'm pretty sure everyone had a fear of blowing up a toilet at a friend's house. Yeah, yeah. that's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we're gonna face that fear. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god! Drew, oh, watch out! Watch out! All right, Lexi, I'm not sure this is what you meant by that. Um, it wasn't, but it'll do. One of Brent's teenage fears was losing his birthday money. Brent. Happy birthday. What, what is this? It's $5,000 for you to put on black, and you're gonna see if you lose the money or if you keep it. This is your money, though. Oh, wait, I didn't think about that. Too late. All right, let's do it. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come did you face your fear of losing money? I don't want to talk about it. Get out. Jeez. Bye. Hey, wait, I'm the one that lost money.